My acts in California were all with high motives and a desire for the public service. My scientific labors did something to open California to the knowledge of my fellow countrymen. Its geography until then had been a sealed book. My military operations were conquests with little bloodshed. My civic administration was for the public good. I offer California during my administration for comparison with the most tranquil portion of the United States. And yet, I was brought as a prisoner and a criminal from that country. I wish, when this trial is over, to return to California, a land I love and which I believe I served well. I am now ready to receive the judgment of the court. Senator Fremont, please rise. These are the findings of this court. The first charge, guilty. The second charge, guilty. The third charge, guilty. Court finds Lieutenant Colonel John Charles Fremont guilty of mutiny. Guilty of disobedience, the lawful command of a superior officer. Guilty of conduct, the prejudice of good order and military discipline. Court does therefore sentence Lieutenant Colonel John Charles Fremont the Regiment of Mounted Riflemen, United States Army, to be dismissed from the service. the verdict of the lenient consideration of the President of the United States. This case is closed. said, let's go down the frog hole. And she said, all right. So they were started down the frog hole, but it was dark and slippery, and she slipped and went round and round and round and round and round, till she got so dizzy, she could hardly stand up. And then 
he swooped her off her feet and said, come into the throne room. Thank you, Sally. It's from the Judge Advocate General's office. I'm almost afraid to open it. You can face wild Indians. Lily, honey, why don't you just run inside and ask Sally if she'll help you make those cookies right now? From the president. He's rejected the mutiny charge. I knew he would. I knew it. Oh, As for the other two charges. He's affirmed them. He's found me guilty of both other charges. He's a coward. A political coward. He's afraid to do you justice for fear that the abolitionists will label him for what he is. A southerner who would love California to vote with a slavery bill. He's confirmed the verdict but reversed the charges because of my past service. Apparently, I'm supposed to pick up my sword and report for duty again. Well, I won't do it. I'm not guilty. You won't accept this clemency? Clemency for what? For doing what they told me to do? No. I'll resign. Charles, are you sure that's what you want to do? Positive. And please don't tell me the cautious seldom make mistakes. I wasn't about to say that. I was thinking about the new expedition. If you're out of the army, Congress will never support you. Even Papa couldn't push that through. Of course you're right. Well, we'll just finance it privately. That's bad news, Alex. Yes, sir, I know, Colonel. But Kit's got these new business deals in Taos and Santa Fe. He's afraid they'll go under if he's not there to take care of them. You sure you need to do this now? What do you mean? Kit says we're sure taking a big chance, leaving this late in the year. And if you'll wait till next summer, he'll be free to go along with us. We've got the financing now. No, but it's going to be... Jonathan, I have the mail. Oh, excuse me. I didn't know you were here, Alex. Just on my way out, ma'am. We've still got a lot to do before we set out. If we set out. We're going, Alex. We don't have any other choice. Whatever you say, Colonel. Very nice to have seen you again, ma'am. I'll look for you at Boone Creek, then. I'll be there. Ma'am. Goodbye. What was all that about? Kid. He can't guide us. Not until next summer. Then maybe you ought to wait for him. How can I do that? St. Louis people are not exactly enthusiastic. If there's a delay, they might pull out altogether. Besides, I'm anxious to get back to California and make it our home. Yours, mine, Lily's, and new babies. I miss it with all my heart. Charles, I think you should wait for me. I've got to go now, Jesse. I may never get another chance. I'm not sure Confucius would agree with you. I don't believe this. What is it? Larkin, he's taking all that money I sent him? Damn you. Darling, what is it? Well, he was supposed to buy me that ranch in Santa Cruz. Instead, he's bought a worthless tract up in the Sierra someplace. Land still hunted by Indians. Take an armed garrison to open it for cattle. It's all the more reason for me to get to California as soon as possible. Oh. Jesse? Sally? Sally? Yes, sir? Send for Dr. McLean. Coming right now, sir. Climbing mountains for me. 
me. <laughs> he looks awful skinny, Mama. Well, Lily has had a hard time these last few months. What are we gonna call him? Let's call him Ben. After your grandpa. Cummins is famous for worrying about the weather. We won't see any snow for a long time yet. I backed up the telescope gun. Fine, Carl. Well, begging your pardon, Colonel. Men are about ready. I'll be there, Alex. Ma'am. I've got to go, Jesse. Yes. There's so many things I want to say. Promise me you will be careful. Yes, darling. No rash moves. Caution, I promise. Don't worry about me, yeah. I'm a lucky man. In more ways than I can count. I'll be joining you in California. As the baby's old enough to tramp for passage through Panama. You'll probably be there waiting for me when I get there. I'll be waiting for you always. Wherever. Whenever.